Here in the Kurzgesagt Gesagt Labs, we test very important ideas to see what happens when you blow like things up or play with black holes. Many of you suggested that we look into an idea that sounds reasonable. Shooting nuclear waste into space. Yes. It's one of those concepts that seems like an easy fix for one of the main problems with the nuclear energy. Something that we can't do out, it. This idea is not just bad, but horribly bad. And it gets worse the longer you think about it. Really? Why is that? I've never watched one of these before. I just saw it and I was like, this would be cool to see. <laughs> what is nuclear waste? Nuclear waste is a fuzzy term and comes in categories which vary from country to country. Okay. But in general, there are three broad levels. 90% is low-level nuclear waste, tools, gloves, or trash used at a nuclear facility that could be weakly contaminated with some short-lived radioactivity. Weakly, weakly contaminated. This stuff is generally safe for normal disposal. 7% is intermediate-level nuclear waste, mostly materials that have been in close proximity mm. to a reactor core long enough to become dangerously radioactive. Gotcha. With proper handling, it's either safely buried or melted down and mixed into glass or concrete and stored deep underground. Huh. So 97% of nuclear waste is similar to toxic byproducts from other industries. Not great, not terrible. We can handle it. Okay. The remaining 3% is where our problems begin. Hi. High-level nuclear waste is very concentrated spent fuel taken out of a reactor core. Formerly uranium, it's now made of various dangerous and often highly radioactive Dropped elements. It in there. As a bonus, it's also incredibly hot and not easy to handle at all. Wow. <laughs> this is what we want to shoot into space. All okay. in all, around 440 active nuclear reactors create about 11,000 tons of high-level nuclear waste hmm. each year. Since 1954, we've accumulated 400,000 tons of dangerous radioactive waste. Huh. Most countries are dealing with it by not Sleeping dealing with it, it under and the kicking the can towards the future. <laughs> Great. So, let's launch it into space. According right? to scientists, space is big and <laughs> nobody lives there. So it seems perfect for yeeting away this mess. Yeet. There are a few tiny problems, though. Problem one, stuff ain't cheap. That's, that's true. Even though spaceflight is getting more affordable, it's still extremely expensive. Just to get something into low Earth orbit costs on average about $4,000 per kilogram. Okay. Putting that into perspective, it costs about $1,600 to mine, separate, and fabricate one kilogram of nuclear fuel, so launching waste into space has suddenly made nuclear gotcha. fuel for reactors way more expensive, more expensive. Yeah. and greatly increased the cost of the electricity they produce. To launch one so reactor's feel worth that, of nuclear waste would cost at least $100 million per year. Wow. To deal with all the 440 operational nuclear power plants, high-level nuclear waste Yee. would cost some $44 billion per year for space launch before packaging, transport, and <laughs> security costs are added. Yeah. Okay, let's pretend we don't care. Currently, we couldn't shoot all the nuclear waste into space even if we wanted to. Why not? There just aren't enough rockets. Oh. In 2021, we saw a record 135 launches into space. If we repurposed each Just of those rockets and filled them all with nuclear waste, the total amount that could be lifted into a low Earth orbit, which is the closest orbit above the atmosphere, is nearly 800 tons. Mm. We'd need at least 14 times more rockets to handle just today's nuclear waste, Jeez. let alone get rid of the hundreds of thousands of tons in temporary storage. We would need to create entire new space industries to keep up with the demand just for, for that giant, one thing. toxic space trash trucks. And it gets worse. <laughs> Problem two, space is hard. Space is hard. <laughs> we only made the calculation for low Earth orbit, where we send most of our rockets and satellites. Right. Littering the space around Earth mm. with thousands of casks of spent nuclear fuel would be a nightmare for space junk management and satellite collision oh, avoidance. God. Worse still, at this altitude, oh. there's still a little bit of atmosphere causing a tiny bit of drag, so we might we have nuclear waste down. raining down from space within just a few years. Oh, geez. Experts would call this a huge problem. <laughs> Clearly, we have Got to launch know. our waste further. If we wanted to send it to, perhaps, the moon, moon. we either sure. need way more rockets or we need to build much bigger yeah. ones, making it even more expensive. A single Saturn V, the rocket used by the Apollo program, which cost around 1.5 billion adjusted for inflation uh. per launch, could get about 43.5 tons from the Earth to the moon. 
so we'd need about 260 Ooh. Saturn V rocket launches every year. That's insane. And of course, using the moon as target practice for nuclear waste-tipped mm. rockets kind of makes a huge mess. Yeah. So maybe don't aim for <laughs> Godzilla's anything. Godzilla's there too. Space is empty. Do we really need a target? Sure. Shooting waste in any random direction is, you guessed it, also a bad idea. Orbits are loops, which uh, means they have a tendency to come, come back right to back. where they started. Put enough in the sky in random directions, and you'll get one back eventually. Wow. So we'd want to launch our nuclear waste deep into space, which means we need even bigger rockets that would be even more expensive. Much more expensive. Not that we would be completely safe then. Earth might run into these so... interplanetary caskets at wow. some time in the far future <laughs> and experience a pretty meteor shower made from radioactive dust. <laughs> Okay, how about we shoot it into the sun? Ironically, the sun is pretty hard to hit. Hmm. While the sun has very strong gravity, everything on Earth is moving with respect to the sun, including the rockets that we launch, meaning a rocket would have to cancel out all the orbital motion it has around the sun huh. so it can stop orbiting and fall in. Because of this, it's actually easier to launch a rocket entirely out of the solar system than it is to launch it to into the sun. the sun. That's crazy. But to do either of these things, we need even bigger rockets, probably the biggest just, we've ever built. Just more money, more money, more money. Hmm. Nothing <laughs> works. The uh. thing is, it gets even worse. Problem three, rockets go brrr. Rocket engineering uh -huh. has taken huge steps since the Apollo era. We've made them relatively safe. We've mostly replaced the toxic explosive cancer fuels of the past decades okay. with much saner mixes of liquid oxygen and hydrogen or kerosene. The newest designs even land themselves right. so that they can be reused. SpaceX, and right? And yet, out of the 146 launches in 2021, there were 11 failures, hmm. which means that a sizable number of our rockets carrying high-level radioactive waste would be exploding on the launch pad, mm. or in the worst case, disassembling at high altitude or crashing from hypersonic speeds. Mm. Each failure would be at least equivalent to a mini Chernobyl, but instead of being contained under a, a slab of concrete, oh. spread throughout the atmosphere. Oh. Radioactive particles could make their way to faraway places by oh, riding no. on the winds. Most would fall into the ocean, but some would land on the inhabited mm -hmm. parts of the world. They could cover farmlands and get concentrated into our food or enter our water supply. So this is not a good idea is, anyway. Well, bad. Period. Imagine regular large-scale nuclear disasters Just happening. because of the risk People of that. People wouldn't be happy. <laughs> Conclusion and opinion part. Nuclear waste is scary, but the fear of it and horrible ideas like shooting it into space reveals how bad we are at understanding risk mm. because the largest amounts of radioactive elements like uranium and radon are actually released by coal. Burning millions of tons of coal each year leaves ash as a waste product That's right. that includes about 36,000 tons of radioactive materials. Mm. I didn't Less know that. radioactive than high-level nuclear waste, but there's also a lot more of it and it's handled way less carefully. Some of this ash is caught by filters, but most is simply pushed back into leaky mines, shoved into piles pushed exposed back. to the wind, or poured into ponds that regularly spill into oh. rivers and lakes. Living within 1.6 kilometers Jeez. of an ash pile increases your cancer risk up to 2,000 times over the acceptable Whoa. limit. And this is on top of other toxic chemicals like heavy metals, and of course, their massive CO2 emissions. And yet, it's while insane. nuclear energy is flawed and its current form may only be a transitory technology, yeah. nuclear power plants are a harder sell than coal. Nuclear waste and the lack of willingness to deal with it are a real issue. <laughs> it's not insurmountable. <laughs> there are good methods to handle it, like <laughs> burying it deep underground or reprocessing some of it into new fuel. Mm. But however we ultimately deal with this issue, we hope one thing is clear. Shooting nuclear waste into space is one of the worst ideas ever. Wouldn't work. Researching this crazy thing, conducting all of these important tests, and of course, creating this video, took us around 2,000 hours, which is insane for a YouTube video. And we couldn't do it without you. Oh, if that's you cool. like what you just saw, you can continue your science journey with one of our products. They're true pieces of Kurzgesagt you can take home and touch. And they're the best way to support this channel. Nice. Like our limited edition human era calendar that will bring you a whole year of joy. 
Learn more about the world with our carefully researched infographic posters, get our habit and gratitude journals to improve your life with science, or update your wardrobe with our new hoodie editions. <laughs> That's cool. If your room is in need of a literal glow oh, up, very nice. get one of these posters. We've also got notebooks, plushes, mugs, and more. All designed oh, with love and dope. produced with care by us at Kotzkazart. And if you sign up to our newsletter, we'll keep you up to date on everything happening in the Kurzgesagt universe. Very cool. Thank you so, so much for your support. Very cool. So this is a question that's come up a few times. It's really for myself. It was more just like trash, period. But um, I like how this one goes more into nuclear waste because it's like it, it gives you a better idea of like what we would have to do as a society and and kind of make from a money perspective to even make something like this work. But even if we wanted to, I like how they went into that part. Even if we wanted to do this, it still doesn't work because it's gonna come back to haunt us uh, or hit us <laughs> at some point in the future. So it kind of sucks because you got people that are sweeping it under the rug right now in, in certain respects, um, maybe not uh, you know, doing away with it in the proper ways that we have right now, which still need work. And that's probably still gonna come to haunt you know, our, our kids in the future at some point. But even if we went this route, it would still haunt them in another way, <laughs> raining down on them, literally. But then the fact that there's a security risk even attempting to do it, because even though you only had, what was it, 11 uh, misfires or 11 uh, botched or unsuccessful launches, if you did it with that stuff on board, that would cause a whole big issue there. And even if it was just 11, that's still a big deal. Even if it's just one that happens, uh, that's really, really interesting to think about. I like how they put this together. Never seen this before. Uh, this is my first time even checking this out. I just, it popped up on my timeline just randomly. I was like, hmm, let me watch it. And I want to look at some stuff that we can watch and learn together. You know, I think it's awesome. You know, we can laugh at different points, but we can also learn as well. I think that's always fun. So, Curse Gazat, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Curse Gazat in a nutshell. I don't even know what that means. I literally saw the thumbnail on my timeline. I said, let me watch it real quick and I'll watch it with you guys. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you have fun with this. If you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments. I might check some more out because they're kind of cool. Not maybe all of them, but, uh, I like the art style, the animation, and I like the way they deliver the information. I think that's pretty cool. So let me know if you want to watch more, like this video, subscribe as always, uh, members, subscribers, watchers. I appreciate you guys. It's really awesome that you support the channel uh, and hopefully you enjoyed this. As always, I appreciate you guys and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.